morning. Today's job is to tackle the wardrobe. So I need to pack the trip and I also need to just get all of my summer stuff out and swap it out with my winter things. It's a bit of a tricky year this year because it's still not very hot. It's like mid-May and um, it is definitely not really summer temperatures. And the house is always really cold, the new house that we've moved to. So normally at this point in the year, I just like get all my summer stuff out and then pack all of my jumpers and jeans away. But I actually think I'm still going to need to wear them quite often just because there's so many cold days. So I think I'm going to still get everything out for summer because I'm going to be going abroad next month. So I'll need like all of my little dresses and swimsuits and stuff. But then I'm going to have to keep some jumpers out too. So I might fold them and just put them in one of my like baskets at the bottom of the wardrobe. So that's the plan. Just to explain, so I've got um, four, like a, a full wall of four built-in wardrobes in this room. There's a coat in there, which is where I just have like all my vacuum packed bags of whichever season stuff I'm not wearing. And then this one's mine. And then the other two um, are my partner's. So it's just these two really that I'm going to be sorting out today. The first part of doing this is always the worst because you just have to make a huge mountain of mess um, which tends to feel a bit overwhelming and then you can start to sort through it. So let's start with the mountain of mess. This wardrobe is the one that currently has all of my winter clothes. So I'm just going to get each piece out and then see if I want to keep it here for summer or if it can be packed away. I'll probably speed this up because you don't want to go through every single bit, but if there's anything that I'm not sure about or I particularly love, I want to show you, I will pause it. That blazer is tricky because you, I quite often would put this over um, like a satin or silky vest for the evening, but it is quite wintry really, isn't it? So I think this can go away. White blazer, I put over lots of dresses, like smarter dresses in the summer, so this is going to stay out. This is my navy suit. I think everybody should have at least one suit that they love and they feel really great in. This is a, like a really fitted foxy shoulder Zara blazer and Reese trousers. But I don't need these for the summer. Definitely won't be needing tweed. Hmm. I tend to wear, even though this is cream, I tend to wear this skirt. It's a midi skirt, um, like a pencil skirt, but I do tend to wear it more with boots in the winter. So this can go. Black jeans. Am I likely to wear these? I find with black jeans they're like such a comfort item that I go to um, when I should really actually be trying to wear something different. So if I pack them away then I don't have the option. So I'm going to put them away. Leather. I don't think I'm going to be doing any like getting rid of stuff today because I did a full wardrobe clear out maybe two or three weeks ago and I got rid of quite a lot of things for charity so there's not really anything in here that I need to give away to charity. Black work trousers, tweed skirt, not going to need those. These are like white tailored long trousers and these are quite nice and summery so they can stay. Oh, these are my new Holland Cooper trousers. They're the tweed that matches my long Marlborough coat. I think they're literally just called the Marlborough trousers. Um, oh no, not Marlborough, sorry, Leverett. Um, and I'm gonna wear these this weekend. So these are definitely staying out. Uh, white shirt, this is such a great, this is just a Ralph Lauren one, slim fit. And it's so good to have to go over jeans in like a casual way or even under jumpers. I love these all year round. Now we're into jumpers. This is where it gets harder. This is a really heavy, thick knit. Um, I think this can go away because it's such a heavy one. 
I love this little Suzanne creamy cashmere cardigan. This is one of my favourites. And I got this when it was starting to get cold, so now I can actually get use out of this. I'm going to keep out this light blue jumper because it's more summery, so, and it's not a high neck. My chunky Zara roll necks I'm going to put away. These come out every year and every year they get a little bit bobbly and I think this is going to be, this is the same one in beige and I always think this is going to be the year I need to get rid of them and they're the coziest things um, because they don't have any wool in. Oh, hang on, just broke. Because they don't have any wool in. That, I mean, it makes them less good quality but it does mean that they don't itch me. So I just can't get rid of them. Oh, this is really cute. This is a crew um, stripy cotton knit. Oh, my favourite cashmere jumper dresses that I got this year. These can go. And then right at the end, I have more occasion dresses. So I've got like satin midi dresses, intense sequin <laughs> dresses. And I never really know what time of year I'm going to need those. So they kind of just have to stay out all the time. This is a little satin suit. So this is the shirt with the feather cuffs. And then there's the matching trousers with the feather cuff. But I do tend to wear this more in the winter put this away. The mountain down here is almost up to my knees. This is such a cute little Cara Millen dress and I got this. I actually, I can't believe I still have this. I got this for my second prom and I just wore it with like little nude strappy heels and I just can, I can never bear to get rid of it. The back of it is so pretty. It's like an open keyhole. Um, and I, I did wear it last year for a dinner. Um, I might wear it again. I'm not sure the colour is super flattering on me though. That's the only thing, like the pale pink washes me out a bit. I'll keep it for now. And then the last two more occasion dresses in here. I have this really long, like all the way to the floor, column mustard dress. And it ties quite tight on your waist and then you can like roll up the sleeves to make it a bit more casual. And I still haven't worn this, this still has the tag on. I need to wear this, but I never think it's fancy enough for weddings and then I think it's too fancy for most dinners. So I just can't figure out the, the right time to wear it. And then this is so cute, but I do always wish I got this in a smaller size. This is a, um, where's this from? Odd, Odd Muse, yeah, Odd Muse, and it's a square neck pearl mini dress it's very short that's the only reason I didn't get a smaller size because I thought the length will be even shorter but I just I always need smaller on the waist than what I need on my hips so it's, it's tricky with sizing for dresses but I do love this it's black and it's something I'd wear more with tights but then I could wear it with bare legs with my little black Dior heels so I think this can stay out so now I can start to pack this away into the vacuum bag and then get all the summer things out to go into the wardrobe. So this is how I store these. I have two of these huge vacuum packs and that's what all my summer stuff's in. <sighs> this is always the bit where I'm like, why did I start doing this? Okay. So I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do summer dresses first. That is what I wear most of. This is a cute one. This is what I have so much of, is like coral block color dresses. I always think they make like a bit more of an impact than a pattern. So I have a lot of these kind. And this one's really cute. It has a cut out on the waist. And it's a midi length, really cute. Another cute, like bright one. It's a red shirt dress and it has a bow tie that goes there and then a little slit in the leg. I 
do need to do a not a haul because they're not new but like a summer dress collection video because I got a lot of them last summer and this winter but I was like longing for the summer to come back I kept doing summer shopping so most of them are still available oh, I just noticed I think this has pockets it does have pockets uh, yeah so I need to do a little collection because I think most of the dresses that I love that I'm really wearing this season are still online another coral dress this is a cut out more bodycon one that I will be bringing on holiday this can actually go with my swimsuits this is a crochet knit white dress we've got helpers over here sitting guard in the hats hats are such a tricky thing to store I never know where to put them oh I love this one I have a lot of white crochet dresses and this is one that I think I'm going to wear to one of the races events I'm going to be at. It's quite long and I'm going to do navy accessories and like a little white and navy striped bow belt that I'm going to make. And I think I'll make something matchy for my hair and I'm going to have my hair up. Love this one. This is ASOS. And I just have a couple of like thinner knit jumpers in here that I'll just add to the ones that I kept out from before. Oh, this is cute. This is a chain mail top. And I got these silver heels. I don't know what I'm going to wear this with. Probably jeans. But it just ties. So it hangs like, obviously I'd have to do it up higher, but it hangs around your neck and then this part ties around your back and it's just like really slinky. Cycling shorts, I do not have anywhere for these to go. Things like this are so awkward because I don't have a chest of drawers in this room at the moment. Where can I put these? I might just put these in with my vest. I have loads of these polka dot long maxis. The green one's one of my favourites, I think. These were cute. These were from the Brock collection with H&M. And I have the mini dress and then I have like the longer maxi, which is somewhere down there. And it has a cross back and I love these because they have a really nice corset shape, which I think is quite hard to do in clothes without actually having boning in it they did a really good job but yeah this is a more of a cargo dress like military ish you roll up the sleeves and I think this is really cute with um, little like superga plimp soles or just any little trainers but I am a superga girl through and through I did go a bit crazy with the Karen Millen sale last summer I think it was like the end of summer they put all of their dresses in sale and then they had loads of discount codes online that you could use like all in conjunction with each other and quite a lot of the ones I got was the Lydia Millen um, design and this one this is another contender for uh, one of the races events I do just love this I just think I might spend the whole day panicking if I have got stains on it because if I stained this I would be gutted and it would probably um, put a damper on the day for me it has cutouts, it has uh, like a tuxedo style front and then it goes all the way to the ground and it's a, with a high-low hem, it's absolutely beautiful. Love this. Oh, this is another Caramillan linen maxi, I think, yes, maxi this one. This is, when this is ironed, this is stunning. I'll see if I have a picture of this on. The waist belt just cinches it in and it's got this a really chunky tie so it makes this huge bow on the side it's so pretty this is it's too big for me but I find that anything with a waist bow you can pretty much make fit you navy shirt dress these I heard about I think from Lydia Millen actually on YouTube um, and they just sell these on Amazon and it's just I think it was meant to feel like cotton it's probably not 100% cotton but 
it's a navy maxi you just roll the sleeves up put a nice like ralph lauren tan belt or something like that on with it and some wedges and it's honestly all like even some hermes leather sandals or any flip-flops that you have and it looks so expensive so i've got these in loads of colors this is a white linen mini dress but it has long sleeves and big tortoiseshell buttons I don't know if I want to keep this one actually. I think it might be time for this to go. And I'm also thinking, even though I hung it up, I don't love that mini dress though. But this mini dress, this orange one, I just think this looks really cheap. I feel like this might need to go too. have a thing for anything that has big bows and this is another cute really bold colorful orange midi and it has this huge ginormous waist belt and it makes this huge bow and i love it and my other brock collection this is the one with the cross back i'm sure you can get these on second hand sites obviously they don't have it in store anymore but this one is absolutely beautiful the print is so lovely and I found when this arrived and I think a lot of other people found this too that the um, sleeves or the straps I mean were so long that it came down really low so if you had big boobs they just hung out and if you had small boobs it was cut too low and it just wasn't a flattering shape so I um, sewed the buttons up higher to raise the strap because they're just on adjustable buttons anyway, they just didn't have a hole high enough. And now it fits me perfectly. Okay, we're through one of the vacuum bags. So this can start being filled up with the winter clothes. This is another caramel and one. More, you can tell that I love all the botanical prints. This is, I think it's 100% silk. Beautiful. silk scarf I love having these little thick pieces this one was made by my grandmother and she does silk painting and it just looks so cute tied in your hair if you have like a long ponytail just flowy very pretty one bag done I'm just gonna go and grab a drink before we carry on because this is this is always such a big job next bag next and final bag since we've done mostly dresses, this must be lots of tops and trousers. Oh, white clots. These do not fit me. They are tight on my hips and giant on my waist. So I think these can go. Although they are so cute. I don't know. It's so hard getting rid of clothes that you like, that just don't really like look the best anymore. I don't know. There are maybe. There are maybe. This was one of my favourite work outfits: navy striped silk shirt with a navy pencil skirt used to look so cute for work I don't know how much I'd really wear it now that's gonna go in the maybe khaki clots these fit me like a glove so these are definitely staying look so nice with the Ralph Lauren white shirt this is literally my only pair of summer trousers other than jeans so far what are these Oh, this is cute. This is a little Zara co-ord. It's fun getting your old pieces out because you actually forget you have them and it feels like you've got new things. So this, again, this is like an example of me loving a colour but it doesn't love me. So it's like a peachy trouser clot and then matching waistcoat. And I wear this with a white lace top underneath and it does look really pretty. And it wasn't cheap. So I think I'm going to keep this 
So this is the navy pencil skirt that I wear, or I used to wear with that striped shirt. It looks so cute together. I think I'll just kind of like tuck that away for when I have to go into the office. So we've got some All Saints sort of mum style jeans, but they're grey and I don't really, I love the fit of them, but I don't really wear grey jeans anymore. Um, would I wear them? Don't feel like I would wear them. I think they can go. This is my, so you know how everybody has their little black dress? This is my one. It's a midi because I think midi actually looks nicer on me than mini. And it's kind of, what's the word for it? can't think but it's got like a caging detail on the bust which goes over your boobs like that and then it's really fitted like a corset and then it goes all the way down past your knee and it has a slit at the back and this I'll never get rid of this never I don't wear it often but it's such a nice one to have so this can go I feel like I might get rid of this blue one, you know. I've had it for so long, but it might be time to go. Okay, we're near the band. This was a dress that I loved for weddings and more formal events. It's quite a good colour on me. It's burgundy and then it has an open draped back. It's just a good occasion dress and it has really high slits but they're on the sides which I don't think is super flattering I think if you're going to have the slits you want to have it like right at the front up your thigh do I want this one I don't know I don't know I don't think so I've moved all of my boots to the back and now I'm just organizing the sections so I've got literally just like a tiny section of my formal dresses because most of them are packed away in um, like the boxes that they came in so I've literally just got the like less fancy ones that don't have boxes in the wardrobe then I want the maxi dresses like day maxi day dresses some dark colour coordinators for dark to light So this first section we've got formal and then casual long dresses in colour order. So this section is the shorter dresses and I really don't have that many. So that, I mean they can literally fill it like that, it literally has a dark pattern of white. Then here we have got the jumpers and these are all thinner ones so I'll do dark to light again. And we have co-ord, I've only kept one of the trouser co-ord, then just normal trousers, and then blazers, and that is it. So glad that's done, now I just need to, there's actually way more for the charity than I realised, I've got like a probably two big bags. Um, I need to pack all the winter things away and then just find a little hamper for the work stuff. And that's it. Um, the only things I wanted to show you that I haven't done already was two new Nadine, no, was it Nadine? No, Alamore dresses, which I think I'm probably going to take at least one of them for this weekend before I'm going away. And I just wanted to show you those on because I'm still deciding which one of the two I'm going to take. And then um, I just need to get that packed and that's everything. So this is the first one. It's um, really pretty and um, pearls all over. Feathers at the bottom, pale blue. I love the colour. Um, I love the back especially. I think that's just like really special. So 
I do love this. I think I'd have like a little cream cardigan over my shoulders, maybe like hair up. Um, but I just don't know if it's the perfect one to bring. So I'll show you the other one. This is the other option. So it's got kind of like corset boning um, on the middle. And then the back has got little buttons, but it is just a zip. So I think it's like very flattering, but also very easy to get in and out of. And I think this would just be a really nice one for the meal. Uh, probably have like my blazer over my shoulders. And then I just have, oh, that's the best way to show you. I just have little nude um, heels with clear straps on the front. So I think this is probably the one that I'm gonna take with me this weekend. Just think it's quite a nice one for the meal. Um, but the other one I think could be good as a, a wedding guest outfit. So um, yeah, you'll definitely see more of both of these. I'm gonna leave the video here for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.